Residents up in Niagara Falls were anxiously awaiting the city's 2019 budget proposal. Many residents are concerned that a proposed garbage fee would be included in the new budget to help make up for a $14 million deficit. Two on your side's Dave McKinley is live up in the falls tonight where Mayor Paul Deister just unveiled that budget. Dave. Yes, and Mayor Paul Deister of Niagara Falls is actually proposing a budget for next year that would actually reduce the property tax rates around here by 13% for residents and for 3% a reduction for commercial properties. However, that new garbage fee that you mentioned would be included in this spending plan. Uh, the garbage fees would generate $3.1 million in revenue for the city and mean about $168 a year for the average taxpayer. Deister said it would have been a very bleak budget had not the governor advanced the city money it's currently denied because of the state's dispute with the Seneca Nation over casino revenue. I think it's likely, you know, we've been looking for every single revenue we could get, including user fees and tax increases, and we probably would have been laying off significant numbers of, of people as well. This was an election year. We got that money because it was an election year for the governor, and he doesn't do well in our area. That's plain and simple. Next year, it's not an election year. What happens if we don't get the money next year? Deister did get some concessions from the city's police and fire unions, which will help the city save nearly $1 million next year. The $106 million spending plan now goes before the members of the Niagara Falls City Council, who, if you remember, in recent years have been pretty active in their perusal of it and making changes as they see fit. Reporting live in Niagara Falls, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.